They were female athletes in an age when men thought they ruled the world. Basketball players from a province that was less than 10 years old. Champions at a time when their sport was six on a side. It was 1912 when a coach from back east, a man named Percy Page, gathered a group of young women from the McDougal Commercial High School in Edmonton and entered them in the city championship. They won the title, but that was only the beginning. For the next quarter century, the team that called itself the Edmonton Grads devoured all competition, claiming every Canadian championship from the first one to the 19th, winning 500 games while losing barely 20 and beating the best American squad so consistently that they just handed them the trophy to keep. In an era when men thought women were too tender for the Olympic Games, the grads went to the Olympics anyway, unofficially of course, and won every exhibition match they played. The inventor of basketball himself, Dr. James Naismith, called them the greatest team that ever stepped out on a floor. Their secret was no secret. Unselfish teamwork, intense physical conditioning, no liquor or cigarettes, and a passion for basketball that carried them through the Great Depression and took them around the world. The Second World War ended the grads' globetrotting and their years of glory, but their legacy endures. Strong young women from a growing country, growing their game, defying prejudice and meeting every challenge with a pass, a shot, and a field goal.